Hi and welcome to Magic Scanner website, a fundamental stock selector for KLSE and SGX financial market. You're about to learn the secrets to raking in double to triple digit return per annum in trading or investing, no matter how much time you've had to prepare. It doesn't matter if you've never had any past experience or education, this Magic Scanner will tell you everything you need to know without spending too much brain power. This is unlike any tool you'll find out there. It's the edge that most analysts and fund managers want or have. Go ahead and get yours now. Good morning to all our fellow like, mem like subscriber, like members, premium subscriber. Welcome to another Friday Chart Clinic, which is uh, dated uh, 28th of February 2014. Time really passes fast. It's almost the end of the uh, February month, uh, and uh, you know we finished the Chinese year, and we thought we could see a correction, and we did not. Uh, some of you are giving me your stocks now, which is good. Um, just a, just some short announcement. Um, uh, the two, those for those how many of you have not uh, subscribed to our two zero market outlook uh, video? Okay, how many have not? Just type yes. You have not. Okay, for those of you who are listening here, I think most of you have, okay, maybe for Richard, most of you are our regular uh, attendees. How many have not? All right. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. For those of you who, ha who have uh, uh, subscribed to our, or purchased the video product, the 2014 Market Outlook, that took place uh, on February 15 last week, uh, we would like to, you know, extend our... Uh, a thank you or a uh, note to you there are some great stock pick in there uh, we actually have a video we like to send to you you can play it you can actually see the the, the video we have now which is uh, uh, we have enhanced it and uh, we should put it up on the website very soon you can take a look at this YouTube video which actually you can see uh, a, a picture of us right uh, myself talking that will be great for you to be able to see basically I'm just like in the uh, same room with you you know uh, we we have a website there and uh, bottom line is uh, people who came and mr. one who is listening now thank you for your testimonial and said that uh, uh, some of the uh, great uh, review that we have on the on the video package as well as Jeffrey said that the stock pick of uh, solid blue chips and and thanks a lot for your testimony and uh, we hope we can bring you know some of these wishes true for you at the end of 2014 and uh, hopefully we all make a bit more money for ourselves and also for our clients uh, that is you so great stuff great quality great content available on 2014 now today is the uh, last day for the early bird price uh, it's only 199 ringgit so after that we'll be reverting back to uh, the 249 onwards which should be our standard price from then onwards okay the 249 so you can get it for 199 so you can still access it the reason why i, I, I just want to uh, showcase to you that uh, this is really good deal and we got people who really uh, make money out from that one okay so that's i just want to talk about that one uh the next thing is the uh just a small announcement currently i'm if you can see this picture can you see this picture now right i'm actually featuring weekly on the channel 420 on the uh, tm unified net uh, you, you can actually see this this is n uh, not ready yet uh, I think the, the last Wednesday they have it so when I'm back in the TV station you should be able to see me again uh, it's not available on the website yet so we're getting a page do up but I'll just show you you can play it's, it's basically it's a short version of Friday chart clinic uh, that we're doing but this one we do it on Wednesday some of the stocks you would have gotten it much much earlier on before uh, I even talk about it so those uh, who is a premium member will probably get it first and then I'll basically use the same stocks that I have okay let me just play it here as you can see from the chart yeah. the recent announcement okay. from the bank that got a GDP growth for the fourth quarter has been a great relief for our market the market was expecting a good figure and it did come at 4.7 for the entire 2013 and a 5.1 for the fourth quarter 2013. So we'll just look this at uh, me presenting on Capital TV. As well as okay. Myself. Now looking at the chart that you see here, the KLCI is certainly looking very solid despite the recent sell-off that you have here. And it appears we are up for another rise. The support 
This is actually is done on a weekly basis. So this one is on uh, the, uh, I believe the outlook this was on the 18. Okay, so every week we probably have one. And if you watch this uh, Capital TV channel 420 on the midweek outlook, I appreciate you can uh, click on this uh, comments and just comment a few things how we can improve it more further. Okay. So we actually use volume spread analysis to explain the outlook of the market. So it's a very now, short uh, three minutes. On a weekly basis, it's six Delium. minutes. Okay. Now remember, Delium was was actually given much much earlier to our premium members about a couple of weeks ago. So what I do, I just repeat what I have uh, to the premium members before I tell the public. In there. So that's a bonus to be in the premium members. Okay. This is definitely a sign of strength as smart money begins its accumulation before the markup. That is the volume spread analysis. Now expect more good news to come from Delium. Hear it here from, from Capital T. As any price surges for any stock, this will definitely induce okay. retailers to take profit soon. So going forward, the next two to three days or two to three bars, you will expect market to taper off or move sideways. By the way, Dilium is the only oil and gas player that pays a handsome dividend yield around 3 to 4 percent and they have been increasing its dividend yield. Okay, so that's all I want to say about the, uh, the TV show that I'm doing on a weekly basis. It's an idea I actually got from uh, watching a lot of CNBC, uh, Jim Cramer show. So it's, uh, I won't be jumping around the TV station, so at least you can see I'll be recommending stocks for, for that matter. Okay. So now uh, Bill is waiting for his turn to give you uh, his outlook. Uh, okay, right, Bill. Just speak, Bill. I'll pass it. Uh, uh, Bill is just in front of me. All right, go ahead, Bill. You can yeah, go. okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, and uh, I, I wish all, all you guys well. Uh, I'd like to report a few things that are affecting the market now. Uh, the first thing is uh, foreign funds are beginning to flow back into Malaysia. And uh, at this moment, uh, foreign funds selling, um, the amount of foreign funds left in the market is the lowest since 2008. It's virtually at a historical low. What that means is it's a sold out market. So when a market is sold out, there's no more sellers left. Uh, that's quite bullish. The next thing in, in the uh, Inter-Pacific uh, Securities um, Fund uh, Report, Fund Flow Report, it showed that foreign funds were actually net buyers yesterday. Um, so it's quite interesting. We're seeing a turn, uh, and this is very bullish. And it's in the face of extremely negative news uh, about emerging markets. Virtually every major asset house has been recommending to buy America, American market, buy European market, buy Australia, buy developed markets, buy Japan, and sell everything else in Asia, including Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, which are financially in much, much better shape than the, than the developed markets. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing is that uh, there's a number of um, external factors uh, which are helping the market. And one of them uh, is very simple, and, and that is that uh, Janet Yellen of the, uh, of the Federal Reserve in the U.S. continues to talk up the U.S. stock market. And as the U.S. market goes up, that benefits everybody. Um, it, it means there's less fear in the market. And the other bullish point is that uh, doing a poll of the fund managers here in Malaysia, of uh, the big asset houses here, um, you know who they are. Uh, they're almost universally cashed up and they're afraid to go into the market. They're waiting for a correction. Well, when you have the crowd expecting something in markets, that usually doesn't happen. Uh, so with all that cash waiting on the sidelines, at some point they're going to force, they're going to be forced to go back in. And many of these fund managers have even shorted the KLSC, uh, shorted such quality names as Public Bank, Maybank, Hong Leong Bank, they've been shorting these companies, shorting Gamuda, and, and actually that is also bullish because a short seller eventually has to cover. And short sellers, by the way, they have to, they have to pay dividends to the, to the other side of the trade. So they pay dividends, they pay high fees, and, and they are caught on the wrong side. So that's also quite bullish. Um, now, the other thing that uh, I would like to just explain a few risks in the market, and my feeling is that currently 
And, and we, Martin and I, we always look in terms of probability uh, when we look at the market, when we're going to allocate capital. At this moment, I would say we are 70% positive and 30% negative, things that could go wrong. So I've given you some of the positive things. Uh, I'm going to look now at some of the negatives that we have to be uh, mindful of. And one is um, that we're finding the possibility of a default in Argentina and Ukraine. And this could be on a scale bigger than Lehman. They have vast exposure to Europe, especially Argentina, to Spain and Portugal. Uh, Ukraine has uh, quite a lot of exposure to Europe uh, and even to the U.S. So this could upset the apple cart. Now, will the IMF come in to bail them out? We don't know that. So that is a risk. And I assess a probability of that of about 10%. Not much, but it's still a risk. The other is possible war uh, of China uh, and Japan fighting over these insignificant islands uh, that are just sto stones in the middle of the ocean. But what they're doing is they're trying to whip up tension uh, to, to distract uh, economic problems, uh, Japan and China, because war is always good for business. So uh, this is another risk that we have to be mindful of. But it's a very low risk, perhaps 5%. So next thing is, um, I would say that for 2014, based on the facts, the evidence, um, based on the pickup of growth in the U.S. and Europe, um, I would say enough money will flow back into Asia. Um, and what is interesting is some of the larger funds, not the local funds, but some of the larger funds um, have been buying quality Asian shares, including China, uh, which is obviously the cheapest market in Asia now. There's some quality companies in China that are paying dividends of 6%. Uh, and, and, and with cash on the balance sheet, very, very strong, well positioned. Don't get bearish on China. Um, they have huge, massive reserves that they can tap into. Um, they're fiscally sound, despite all the news about shadow banking and these sorts of problems, they have the money. So that's another thing. Um, so I, I would say overall, um, Continue to do what you're doing. Continue to allocate capital. And the sectors that we like are consumer shares, consumer spending, electronics, um, and plantation is coming back into the picture. Um, timber, because companies that are dealing in timber could also benefit because Japan is a major um, importer of Malaysian timber. So not the crowd is not really focused on these two sectors, plantation and timber. But to make money, you have to get in before the crowd. Um, so um, in that sense, and I have a little bit of trivia for you that's quite interesting.